This video is gonna be just a comparison between a track skid steer and a tire skid steer. Uh, these two skid steers here are very similar. They are both JCBs with only one bump on the side with the side doors, and they're both 2017s. These skid steers are also the same weight. They're 10,000 pounds, and they have the same horsepower. Both have a 74 horse engine. There is one major difference, and which makes this machine way better than that machine and this is a teleskid so if you don't know this boom can extend out it's like, like five to eight feet out and that allows it to dig deeper stack higher um see better grade better you know just basically do everything better than a regular skid steer and this one is just a standard boom it does not extend out it's just uh, a normal normal skid steer. So if you're currently looking to purchase a skid steer, uh, you've come to the right video because I'm going to name off the pros and cons of each and you can make the best decision for your company on what to get. I'll first be going over the advantages with a tire machine. A tire machine regularly, at least for JCBs and I'm assuming through all other companies too, has about double the road speed. Uh, this machine here does like 13 miles an hour while this track machine over here does like seven. So it's a huge advantage, especially if you do a lot of plowing like I do. Road speed's huge. Being able to go fast and maybe commute down the road a little ways is a big deal. So tire skid steer wins in speed all day long. Another advantage is when you're on pavement. Um, and this can be pretty controversial, but for me, it's, it's pretty simple. Tires are better on pavement and it's not really even close. Uh, plowing is a huge difference with plowing with tires versus tracks. I have extremely wide tracks, so they're not good plowing. But, but as far as overall pavement use, I'd say sweeping, plowing, um, any maybe bark mulch beds and parking lots, uh, you're going to want a tire skier over a track skid steer all day long. Another advantage with the tire skid steer is going to be your ride. So if you're driving, um, especially fast, you're going to be fairly comfortable in a tire machine. Um, it handles the ground and bumps uh, much better than a track does. A track is very stiff. Um, it rattles a lot. It's almost gives you a headache just to drive them. Um, they're very loud. Uh, they're not very comfortable to drive in for a long extended period of time. So a tire skid steer wins in comfort of your ride. Another advantage um, most people don't think of is I do a lot of regrading driveways or putting in gravel driveways. And a huge advantage the tires have over a track if you're doing gravel work is you're able to almost compact pretty good with tires, especially if you have narrower ones. Uh, Obviously it packs the gravel down a lot better with this uh, track one here, especially with these wide tracks. You just kind of float on top of the gravel and it doesn't do any compacting. Obviously, yes, you should be using a compact to do all your compacting, but there are certain scenarios where it is nice to just use this as a compactor. Now on to advantages with the track machine. So a track machine, if you're gonna be doing any excavation, um, you know, purely digging into the ground, a track skid steer is going to be a little bit better. It has more rubber on the ground, which makes for better pushing and gripping power. Um, obviously, I do all my digging with a mini excavator. I don't do any digging with this, so it doesn't really dig. All this does is move pallets on hardscape jobs. But as far as digging and excavation work, I would say the track skid steer takes the crown. Another huge advantage with tracks is it's more stable. Um, anytime you're grading loam on slopes or anytime you want to climb a mountain very easy and doable with a track machine a tire machine on the other hand sinks um, it can't climb piles it's very tippy on slope they're very jerky while the track skid steer is more safe slow and less tippy it's got a much wider stance another advantage is it has more pushing power there's more rubber on the ground um, obviously we tried to tug of war thinking the track skid steer would win but they didn't budge at all but i would say overall the track machine has more pushing power. Obviously, since this is a teleskid, this has more pushing power because of the boom, but if it didn't have a boom, the track skid steer would be able to push better all day long. The biggest advantage, in my opinion, for track skid steers is the ability to go on lawns and not damage them. If I was to do a hardscape job on someone's lawn, I would absolutely destroy it with this machine here. The tires dig into their sod extremely bad. They make giant impressions with the immense amount of weight only on four points with this track here they ride on lawns really nice they don't really do any damage if you're not turning too hard and you're careful they don't do any damage to lawns at all but like i said i have massive tracks too i have a about a 13 inch shoe there so these are some very wide tracks for a 10,000 pound machine 
And these things just float over anything, any mud, any grass, they just float. They don't do any damage. They're really great for that. But obviously these two machines can get stuck. Um, the telescope kind of has the advantage because it can push itself out with the boom. But I would say um, less likely to get stuck is going to be the track skid steer. So obviously if you're in mud or snow, I'd say you're less likely to get stuck with tracks. So for my company, I'm lucky enough to actually have three skid steers. I have two tire skid steers and I just have this one track skid steer. And that's because my business mainly uses tires in its applications. Every once in a while I do need the tracks and that's why I have it. But snow plowing is a huge deal for us, so we like our tires a little bit better. But obviously, if you could only choose one, um, what could you choose? So I would say that if you're more into excavation, maybe into landscaping, uh, you're going to be on lawns an awful lot. I would lean more towards the track machine. And if you're more in this for plowing, uh, maybe sweeping parking lots, uh, maybe installing a lot of mulch beds on commercial parking lots with pavement, or even doing a lot of uh, gravel driveways resurfacing, um, I would lean towards the tire machine. If you're just buying this to maybe leave it your yard and load people or load your trucks, it really doesn't matter what you get. It's really just about um, the speed you want. Do you want something that goes like seven miles an hour? Or do you want something that goes like 12 or 13 miles an hour? All right, you guys, uh, thanks for watching. That's my vote. Um, for me, I choose tires all day long because I do a lot of plowing, a lot of parking lot sweeping and a lot of pavement use. And if I was more into just purely excavation, I would lean towards a track machine to do more of the dirt work. So those are just my opinions. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Maybe in the comments down below, if you agree with me or if you disagree with me, just let me know. Uh, really sorry about the wind in this video. I mean, every time I have free time and I want to make a video like this, it's always crazy windy at my house. So I'm sorry if the audio was pretty bad, uh, but hopefully not. But uh, thanks for watching.